impact of an inside slider near Las Vegas setting up um, some dry northwest flow and watch as that area of high pressure a weak area of high pressure will build Tuesday and Wednesday and then start to flatten on Thursday paving the way for that area of low pressure uh, to it's basically a dry trough that will bring with it a chance of showers as well now Orange County we're looking for gusty winds today look for high of 75 today 81 on Tuesday Many areas will see their warmest temperature of the week on Wednesday, 87 in the San Fernando Valley. And then as that ridge starts to flatten later in the week, temperatures will cool and we're tracking a chance of rain this weekend. Well, that's a quick look at your forecast. Uh, Jessica and Frank, now back to you. We are just hours away from the solar eclipse. Many uh, boarded flights at LAX with the hopes of catching a glimpse of it either once they've landed or even while they're flying. KTLA's Aaron Myers live from LAX with the details for us. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you both. Yeah, a lot of people already at their destination along the path of totality, but there are several that will be up in the air when the eclipse happens. And Delta Airlines, they have two special flights, one leaving from Austin, the other from Dallas. They're both going to Detroit, and we're told that Austin flight sold out within 24 hours. Now, a rep for Delta Airlines tells me that they plan on conducting a series of turns to allow for views from both sides of the aircraft during these flights. They say they are working with the FAA to safely conduct these maneuvers, which will be dependent on today's conditions and approval by air traffic control. A couple of other flights also left this morning from LAX, one headed to Dallas, the other to San Antonio. Those passengers should get a good glimpse at the eclipse as well. Now, if you are traveling, though, the next couple of days, you may experience delays. The FAA said the eclipse could affect flights through April 10th. They are expecting higher than normal traffic volumes at airports that are along the path of the eclipse. Rerouting of flights is possible too. Now we did speak with one man who was flying to New York who hopes to get a glimpse of the eclipse on his flight. Look I'm hoping to see the eclipse. Um, I arrived in New York around about um, 6 p.m. in the evening so hopefully I know the eclipse is supposed to happen about 3 o'clock in the afternoon in New York so I'm hoping that while I'm in the air I can actually see the eclipse somewhere because I know going from one side of the country to the other um, I must have a pretty good chance of actually seeing it so yeah, I'm hoping to actually see the eclipse in some way. <laughs> Now, if you are traveling the next couple of days, probably a good idea to check your flight status and give yourself a little extra time to get to the airport. Reporting live here at LAX, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you both in the studio. And a live look uh, right now at LAX, where construction work nearby is expected to cause uh, significant delays this week from now through 7 p.m. Friday, two westbound and two eastbound lanes on Century Boulevard at Concourse are closed. It's all part of the uh, Rue project, which aims to improve traffic flow around LAX eventually. And you've probably noticed gas prices are soaring. AAA says they're averaging 5.35 a gallon in our state. They're not much lower in Southern California. Here in LA County, 5.33 a gallon. They've been increasing for 21 days straight now. Orange County drivers paying 5.30 a gallon. Riverside County drivers paying 5.24 a gallon. And it's 5.23 a gallon in San Bernardino. Drivers in Ventura County paying 5.33 a gallon. Mr. Finds her wherever she goes. We know her.